So it turns out there are people on the internet, let's call them haters, that seem to think what I do is a waste of time. And what they're referring to is me 3D printing all of these props in cosplay and that I'm encouraging landfills and it's a waste of time and resources and blah, 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 blah. Now, I'm not here to argue the merits one way or another. Personally, I think as long as I am inspiring at least one person to get into additive manufacturing or prop creation or electronics or cosplay, I think I'm helping the world out a little bit. This is all for entertainment purposes and as long as you're being responsible, I see no harm. However, that's not what this video is about. Questions like that have actually got me thinking, how much filament have I used over the past six years 3D printing all of this stuff? Let's figure it out. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank and today I want to weigh and calculate how much filament has gone into all of the props I've created and that I still have possession of. So if you guys are following me on Instagram too, you'll know that this is a follow-up video to a Instagram reel I had posted asking you guys to guess how much all of this weighs. But after showing you guys on Instagram all the stuff I still have in my possession, all the helmets, the swords, the props, the suits, and some miscellaneous stuff I put on a table and panned over real quick, I wanted you guys to guess how much filament was used in everything. I give you guys 24 hours to put your guess in the Instagram comments, and then I turn them off. And whoever gets the closest wins a 3D printer. If you're sad that you missed it, go follow me on Instagram and it won't happen again. Now, I would still like you guys to guess throughout this video, and I'm gonna do a panning shot of everything we're gonna weigh. We're gonna look at the helmets, we're gonna look at the swords, we're gonna look at the suits and we're gonna look at a bunch of other random stuff and you can pause it you can sit there you can think you can calculate and leave the comment down below to see if you're right at the end of the video obviously i don't know if you're just gonna skip to the end to see the grand total but it'll be a fun little game and if you're coming here from instagram to see if you won your name will be at the end of the video and i will be messaging you back on instagram to send you the printer but that's enough rambling let's get right into it and start weighing all these props so it's gonna be pretty straightforward i'm just gonna start weighing everything now i can already tell some of you are in the comments oh what about the painted finished props don't worry about those. A lot of these don't actually have anything substantial in them, like heavy magnets or a lot of electronics. I think I'm just gonna round down on the painted finished props. For example, this Red Hood helmet weighs one pound, 1.9 ounces. So I'm just gonna round down to one pound. I think that's fair because this thing weighs like nothing. Most of this video is just gonna be a really fun time lapse of me showing you and rehashing all the stuff I've made over the past five years. So let's get right into it. That does it for the helmets and the uh, the Chainsaw Man one was, wow. All right, next up, all the swords and katanas and I'm just gonna show them off full frame right here and then uh, right here will be the weight, cool. It broke yesterday. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I love this so much. I love this thing. This broke during filming. Oh well.
Loki's scepter broke a while ago. I haven't had time to fix it. So I don't want to take every single one of my devil fruits off the wall. Blackbeard's here weighs the most next to Kaido's, um, but Kaido's is like a multi-material print. So I'm just going to weigh Blackbeard's and then multiply it by 16. Yeah, that. The last three things are my life-size Mew, this giant flexi dragon that I'm not going to, yeah, yeah. And the giant Flexi Rexy, which, how am I gonna weigh you? Can you do a headstand? You can do a tail stand. Yeah. Ta-da. Okay, we have everything weighed and tallied up for the most part. Uh, maybe I'll put it here for the time being, maybe I won't, TBD. But the last thing we're gonna do is we need to weigh the suits. Now, through the videos and stuff that you guys have been following, you might know I used roughly 14 to 15 rolls for the Mark 85. I've never weighed the backpack though, the lightning refocuser, and I've also used about 13 to 14 for Star Boost. I had much less failures, a lot better support placement, so it is a bigger suit, but I used less material waste. But I don't know how much they actually just weigh sitting here right now. So we're just going to take them off, put them in the bucket, and just start seeing how much it all weighs. Um, and I'm, I'm really curious about it because I definitely get asked this question a lot. So let's do it. No way. The Mark 85 used 14.5 rolls. I've always guesstimated about 14 rolls in weight and that's it. That, that's actually kind of crazy. The Mark 85 only weighs 32 pounds. Not bad. Let's do Star Boost next. And Star Boost, or Star Burst, as uh, some of you love calling it, tallies in at 12.3 rolls. Actually, less than I thought. I thought Star, Star Boost was like closer to 14, and then I was guessing with the backpack that the 85 was closer to 17, but no, less. 12.3. Man, I do not want to put these back together. Boy. Okay, even though I really didn't want to, I did go and take all of the devil fruits off the wall and I just weighed them in the bin. Um, I just have to get the weight of the bin by itself. 1686. 3,990. That's how much all the devil fruits weigh, which my average using just the dark, dark fruit, Blackbeards, at 256 times 14 was strikingly close. I was only off by less than 400 grams. So really not a bad estimate, but uh, yeah, the actual number of all 14 fruits is 3990. Almost, almost exactly four rolls of filament. So everything's weighed now. So now you guys have the best possible chance of an accurate guess. Well, I guess you already guessed, but let's tally all this up and see who won. All right, time to pick the winner. I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do it. So right here, you can see the entire list tallied up, all the totals and values next to it. Then I went and stripped away all the names. So I, now I have this giant list of numbers. You can go to the sum calculator right over here, paste it in, and the grand total is 106,154, 106.1 rolls of filament. We're gonna say 106 first and see if that appears anywhere. I turned off the comments at exactly 8 p.m. We extracted the list in an Excel sheet. So I have everybody's comment and name. I even have their Instagram, I, I got it all. So we're gonna go find 106. Funny Timmy is the winner. Now, just to make sure somebody also didn't guess in pounds, we're gonna go and convert that. So 106 times 2.2, that's 233.2 pounds. So let's search 233. Nobody guessed 233, so it doesn't even matter if I add a decimal, nothing. These are the numbers, so the 106 
kilograms or 106 rolls, that's it. I don't even have to do a tiebreaker. I'm so happy. Funny Timmy, I've already DM'd you on Instagram. I followed you back. For the love of God, look at your message requests. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Um, congratulations again to Funny Timmy for guessing right. And I know some people were more analytical with it. I saw one comment that actually said that they paused and made an Excel sheet and did all of this. And it was, it was just a fun little game, guys. So please don't be sad if you didn't win. I didn't even know how much this was. I actually thought it was gonna be closer to the 200s, but uh, yeah, we're just 106 rolls. Now, that didn't include supports and failures and reprints. It was just everything that is currently in this room. So it was really fun to do. Um, I really enjoy doing these goofier videos. Uh, I, we can get serious in certain videos and tutorials and all of that, but this really takes the pressure off sometimes and I can just have a goof, have a laugh, and uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Because if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. This way you can stay up to date on everything I have posting and coming out. I have a lot more 3D printers I'm testing. I have a lot of cool tutorials and work. I'm rebuilding my entire Iron Man suit and we're just getting into some real, uh, real awesome stuff in the second half of the year and then going into 2025. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it. Uh, make sure you're following me on Instagram to stay up to date on like any contests or giveaways I'm doing. I do them way more frequently on Instagram. Uh, so don't miss out on that. But I think that's gonna be a wrap for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. You have a good day.